The phenomenon of interference was explained in my previous video. The interference effects are associated with thin transparent films. Examples are soap bubbles, oil films on water and optical flats. An optical flat is a disc of high quality glass or quartz like this. The surface of the disc is ground and lapped. This surface is ground and lapped to high degree of flatness. Sizes of optical flats vary in diameter from 25 mm to 300 mm and in thickness, this is the thickness of this optical flat and it varies from 25 mm up to 50 mm. When an optical flat is laid over a flat reflecting surface, it orients at a small angle theta due to the presence of air cushion between the two surfaces. You can see this angle theta because of air cushion between these two flat surface and optical flat automatically an angle is created uh, a very small angle is created theta. Consider a ray of light from a monochromatic light source falling on the upper surface of the optical flat. Here one monochromatic light is uh, coming from this source. The light ray partially reflected at this point and partially transmitted here. So you can see here at this point partially reflected and some part is passed through this air medium and then it again get reflected from the flat surface and these two reaches to I. Now the distance traveled by this ray and distance traveled by this ray, this component of the ray, so this component and this component, these two travels different distances. Now what is the difference between these distances? This is equal to ABC. So these two distances from here to here and from C to here equal. So extra distance traveled by this part of ray is ABC. If this length ABC is equal to lambda by 2, or any odd multiple of lambda by 2 where lambda is the wavelength of monochromatic light then a complete destructive interference will occur and I is able to see a distinct patch of darkness termed as a fringe. Next consider another light ray from the same source as falling on the optical flat at a small distance from the first one. So from the small, this is a very small distance here I have drawn very far, but actually this distance is very small. Again some part of this ray get reflected at, from this point, from this point and some transmitted and then again reflected at the flat surface at this point. Here distance traveled by these two rays are different and this difference is given by DE. F. Now you can see that this distance DEF is greater than ABC. So it, it may be this any distance more than lambda by 2. Now suppose this DEF is equal to 3 lambda by 2. Then in that case again you will get a similar fringe. The one which is obtained here the same fringe that is a complete darkness or a destructive interference will be obtained. So when we already know that whenever the distances traveled by the two rays is odd multiple of lambda by 2, you will get destructive interference. However, at intermediate points between the two fringes, the path difference between two reflected portions of the light ray will be even multiple of half wavelength. In this case, two components of light will be in phase and light band will be seen between them. So in between these two, at middle portion somewhere here you will get uh, uh, this difference ABC here, DEF here. So in between this distance will be equal to 2 lambda by 2 that is lambda. So in that case a light band can be seen. So we will get alternate bands of light and dark patches. If surface is perfectly flat, fringe patterns will be regular, parallel and uniformly spaced. If it is perfectly flat, in that case you will get fringes like this, which is regular, parallel to each other and uniformly spaced. When fringes are curved towards the line of contact, here this is the line of contact, 
and these fringes are curved towards the line of contact in that case the surface is concave and low in the center this surface will be concave in nature so this represents a concave surface for opposite curves surface is convex so for this type of fringes this surface will be convex and high in the center so this fringes represent a surface which is convex in nature in this way an optical flat can be used to check the flatness of a surface thank you for watching this video